Hi, Joni. Lighting a little. Oof, I need to touch up my hair. Hi there. That's, oop. That's Mary. <laughs> oh, hi, Ted. I'm glad you're here, too. Excellent. Excellent. Tonight. I understand that the buffering is terrible. Uh, word on the street is that we are still not able to uh, do this very seamlessly. We're on it. I hope. We're certainly trying. So thank you for being here. I'm going to give us just another couple of minutes in case someone else wants to join us, but it may just be, it may just be the four of us, and that's okay. I hope you're hanging in there. Hi, Diane. Glad you're here. To, hi, hi to both of you. Hello to any and all kittens who show up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oops. Busted. Okay, so um, this will be an intimate group tonight, and I think that's just fine. Do you have it up, Mary? I do. Okay, great. Thank you so much for doing this sure. with me. It means a lot. Okay, so um, I don't know if everyone is lighting a little candle or making a little space, but um, I think that... Uh, create some kind of space in your home for the weeks ahead to reserve for prayer. Since we don't have our sacred in the church right now as a refuge, I think it's a nice idea to create a little refuge space in our homes. Something to think about, especially when you've got extra people at home. Hi, Brian, if you're there. All right. All right, so let's get started. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse all unrighteousness. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Welcome, Aaron. I'm so glad to see you here. It's Must be very lonesome without the shop. Continue with the Invitatory and Psalter. O oh God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. 
We'll continue down. We, you can watch the video on your own time if that's all right. But we'll continue with the Fos Hileron, or the Gracious Light. O Gracious Light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, as behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Holy Spirit, you are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. Amen. We'll do um, both Psalms responsively by whole verse. Um, these are, these are uh, really, these are first class Psalms. These are Psalms to hang on to. 91 especially, 92 as well. Hi Pat, glad you're both here. Apologies for the bad buffering. We're working on it, slowly, but we're working on it. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You shall say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold, in my God, my God in whom I put my trust. God shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. God's pinions will cover you and you shall find refuge under the wings of the Lord, whose faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any nor the arrow that flies by day, that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand, a thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at your right side, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There shall be no evil happen to you. Neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For God shall give the Holy Spirit over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because they are bound to me in love, therefore I will deliver them. I will protect them, because they know my name. They shall call upon me, and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will rescue them and bring them to honor. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Let's continue with Psalm 92. It's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. To tell of your loving kindness early in the morning and of your faithfulness in the night season. On the psaltery and to the melody of the harp. For you have made me glad by your acts. And I shout for joy because of the works of your hands. O Lord, how great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. No, nor does the fool understand that though the wicked grow like weeds, and all the workers of iniquity flourish. They flourish only to be destroyed forever. But you, O Lord, are exalted forevermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, lo, your enemies shall perish, and all the works of inequity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like the horns of wild bulls. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes also gloat over my enemies, and my ears rejoice to hear the doom of the wicked who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a tree, and shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the They shall still bear fruit in old age, and succulent that they may show how upright the Lord is, my rock, in whom there is no Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
now and will be forever. Amen. What happened? Did we... Did we... Did we go dark? It says we're still going. Um, please excuse me, I'm going to stop the video and restart it because on my computer... Oh, no I'm not. It's just dark. I don't know why it's dark. Um, oh, hi, Annie. I'm glad you're here. Uh, uh, so I can't even see myself. I'm not sure what the story is there. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm just going to keep going. And um, someone will tell me that uh, um, tell me if it all goes wrong. <clears throat> all right, the lesson um, from from the Gospel of Mark, or verses thirty five, uh, verses thirty five through forty one. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them. Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind him, they took, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves of the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe, and said to him, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? All right, so I'll say a few words tonight. Um, <clears throat> many of you know already that uh, a lot of things are disrupted. Um, our gatherings for worship are disrupted. Our lives are disrupted. There is a great windstorm on the sea on which we sail. Now, just because I can't help myself, I have to tell you that the Sea of Galilee is a big lake, and the notion that a huge windstorm up on the sea is not super likely. Um, so this is a story that is less about um, reporting a historical event than it is about telling us something about Jesus. And the first thing that it tells us is not that Jesus is asleep at the wheel, but that even, um, even at his most relaxed, even if he is in his lifetime, even when he was um, resting his human body, he was still the incarnation. He was still, um, he still held the authority of God during his lifetime. And he has the authority of God now. And so come to him in prayer, his response to us will hopefully not be the snarky, why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? But perhaps I need to speak louder? Yeah. Okay. So um, the uh, um, uh, Jesus's response um, may be, in fact, the snarky, um, why are you so worried? Um, have you no faith? And, um, you know, sometimes we need to take stock of whether we're overreacting to things, but I think the current situation um, does not make concern. Um, and so what we need to know, I think, from this passage is that the power of Jesus Christ is with us. And just as in the psalm, we are told 
that we are uh, protected under the shadow of God's wings, that we have the power of God at our back, we can rest assured that in one way or another, we will weather this storm. That is absolutely true. We will absolutely get through this. We don't know how long it will take. I think we can be pretty sure that we won't all get through this unscathed, get through it together. And lots of organizations and institutions, not the least of which is Trinity, is working on making sure that we get through it together. So I want to encourage you today uh, to reach out to one another and to feel free to reach out to me as you need to. Um, and, uh, and be assured from faith. Don't act from stupidity. Be wise, be discerning, be smart, but also remember that God is with us. The God of resurrection is with what feels like a time of death will come new life and be encouraged by that. I urge you to be encouraged by that. All right, let us continue with the Song of Simeon on the, um, on the daily, daily Office online web, web page. And this is together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Continuing with the Lord's Prayer, our Father, who are, uh, our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today your daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Show and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Today we review the third, the collect for the third Sunday in Lent. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
a prayer for an epidemic. O oh God, our creator and preserver, we cry out to you along with our brothers and sisters throughout struggling to overcome the coronavirus epidemic where so many lives have been lost already and millions more are threatened. We pray for your grace and mercy that an end to this disease will come soon and that life, labor, community, and human touch will be restored. Give us courage and strength to amend our ways of living in the face of this great human tragedy, cooperating with medical authorities to preserve our own health and safeguard others. Help us overcome our fears and give us confidence to ask this in the name of your most blessed Son, who came and gave his life so that we might live fully. Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness. Be sick. Amen. Amen. So the Friday evening prayer list for peace among Christian Muslims in the Middle East, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Israel and Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Syria, Yemen. In our prayers for church unity, we pray for world Methodism, that is the Methodist churches all over the world. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Massachusetts and the Diocese of Victoria, Nyanza in Tanzania. We pray for the primates of the Anglican Christian body Arama in South Sudan. Thabo Makoba in Southern Africa, Tito Zavala, Southern Cone of America, Ezekiel Kondo in Sudan, and Jacob Chimaledia in Tanzania. For our ecumenical partners, Pope Francis, Bishop of Rome, Elizabeth Eaton, Presiding Bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in North America, Robert Fuentes, moderator of the Old Catholic Church USA, and also the Moravian Church. In the Diocese of Indianapolis, they are praying for their candidates for ordination, Deacon Tom um, and uh, to the priesthood pastor next fall, and their seminarians, David, Wendy, and Maureen at Neshota House, God bless them, and uh, Greg at Christian Leaders Institute, Andhra Christian Theological College in India, Berkeley Divinity School in Connecticut, Bexley Seabury Federation in Ohio and Illinois, Bishop Hannington Institute in Kenya, a school in Texas. On our own prayer list, those with immediate needs are Tressa, Renee, Cass, Rick, Carl, Larry, John, the Goodwin Hoskins family, Krista, Chip, Honey, Maggie, Deacon Bob, Mary Beth, Tommy, Sandy, Juliana, Andrea, Mary, and the Yan family. Continue with our prayer for mission. Let's pray this together. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us. 
granting us in this world truth and in the age to come Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.